This is Code Combat. I'm currently working on Computer Science 2, and right now I am on level 5, Woodland, Woodland Cubbies. All right. I'm doing the JavaScript version of this course. These forest cubbies may contain ogres. Uh-oh. Move. Let's see what happens right now. I'm going to go ahead and hit run. Success, success. From now on, levels are randomized, so you will have to submit to see if you win in real time. Oh, interesting. Click the submit button to try to beat the level, all right? Uh-oh, uh-oh, attack, hit him back. Can I, can I control him? Nope, uh-oh. Hero's going down, people. Hero, this isn't looking pretty. And yeah, that was, yeah, that was bad. All right, so the if statement will check if a variable has an ogre. If enemy. Okay, and remember our variable is defined up here. So we are defining this variable. A variable just like in math, right? X plus two equals four. X plus two equals four. So what would X be? Hmm. X would be two in that situation because two plus two equals four, right? And X plus three equals four. Well, what would X be? X is one. X doesn't actually mean X in math when we use it like that. And in code, if this were X, that would work too. This is a variable. However, it doesn't mean a number. It doesn't mean two or one or four. It means hero, find the closest person to you and whoever that person is, you're now going to name them X or name them an enemy or name them Bob. It doesn't really matter. We're just having our hero look around and name whoever's closest to our hero enemy. Then with our if statement, so hey hero, if enemy, if that person you saw enemy is around you, right? So the if statement will check if a variable has an ogre. So if enemy, so if our hero does look around and find an enemy, then, right, so this tells the hero to look around and name whatever that is enemy. If he looks around and doesn't see anyone, this is what's checking. Okay, if enemy, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Enemy isn't anyone yet, he hasn't seen anyone. So then the code doesn't run. The code will only run if there is an enemy, if he looked around and if this was uh, if this contained an actual value of an enemy. So if the enemy exists, if the enemy exists, attack the enemy twice, okay? That's what's happening there. Now here, we will move up to 4951. So let's use the graph, the magical graph behind here. Remember, zero, zero is down here. This is X line, that's Y line. And we are looking for 4951, which would be way up over here. 49, oh, we're up right there. So we're going to move our hero to this point. Hero, find nearest enemy. So our hero is going to look around and name this one enemy as well. Remember, it's just a variable, so I'm actually going to change that to Bob. You can leave it as enemy. It doesn't matter. I'm making mom Bob. Um, sorry if your name is Bob. <laughs> hero, attack. So if he looks around and finds someone, he's going to look around. If he finds someone, this will run. And what do we want? Well, we want our hero to attack that person he just found. No, not hero say. I do that far too much. Hero attack and our enemy's name, Bob. Okay. And then we're going to have our hero move one more time. I believe it's going to be to 58, 14, maybe way down here. Let's back this up a bit. 58. Yep. So that's roughly right there. Our hero is going to look around and name this. Again, it can be anything. Maybe I want to name this enemy three. Sure, enemy three. And then we need to tell the hero, look around, which we already did. Hero, look around, name that person enemy three. If that person exists, if there's an enemy three, what do we want them to do? Well, let's reference the code above. We want them to attack. Do I want my hero to attack Bob? Nope, Bob's way up here. Our new enemy's name is enemy three. So our hero, hero dot attack, Enemy three. Hero dot attack. Enemy three. 
And now let's make sure you must, must, must for go to work, have a closing curly bracket. Okay, that looks all right to me. Let's run it. This is looking good, good. Is he defeating? Yep, goodbye, Bob. And walking down here. Okay, excellent. Now remember, we will have to hit submit. So I believe that's the correct way to do it. Let's find out. Excellent. Mission accomplished, hopefully. Yep, great. 